no matter where his match is on the card, whenever John Cena's in the ring, it possesses a big fight main event feel. It's just another reason why Cena's known as the franchise. Well, in these head-to-head -head matchups, you've got no one to rely on but yourself. And that's the way it should be. Less talk, more action. Let's go. But no matter what we say outside the ring, it doesn't matter as much as what happens inside that ring. What are you thinking Baron Corbin should do here? In your expert opinion, what can the WWE Universe expect to see from him? Well, it's safe to say that this match can go in any direction from here. Yeah, he wants to send a message in this one. And that message is, I'm here to stay. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Great offense by Baron Corbin. You know, it's remarkable. When John Cena has his adversary incapacitated, there's always the very real possibility that he will go to the submission hole that he has developed into his trademark, the STF. Oh, yeah. Cena doesn't miss many chances to lock that hole in, does he? Been looking a bit uneasy here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this tight. What a match. And when John Cena is able to lock in that STF hold that we were talking about, the result is pretty predictable. Very few of his foes are able to escape it. Right. Cena has a lot of championship matches on his resume, and so many of them have ended on a tap out after John's applied the STF. You know, a few of those contests come to mind, Michael. Cena used the STF to force Mark Henry to tap out at Money in the Bank in 2013. That was for the WWE Championship. And Cena finished Chris Jericho with it at Armageddon in 08 for the heavyweight title. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, just goes to show you, no John Cena with the cover. One, two. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. You're right, he kicked out with ease. You know, King, every time John Cena steps into the ring, he steps into it like he is the C Nation's champion. Whether that's true or not, no matter who the opponent or what the reaction of the crowd may be, in Cena's eyes, he is the good guy in every match. Well, you know that's usually the case, Michael. If Cena comes across as the straight-laced, small-town guy who just happens to be a dominant WWE superstar, well, that's because he is. He is slowly getting dissected. He's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, and that's when he's the most dangerous. Just making his presence felt there. Well, John Cena may like to play the squeaky clean All-American boy, as we said, but don't think he won't fight fire with fire when an opponent tries to stoop to some down and dirty tactics. John Cena prefers a good clean match in that ring, but don't get confused. He's fine if the match turns into a street fight. And there's the reversal. Oh, check that out. We have a first here this evening. And that was awesome. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And here's the champ, John Cena. You can't see me, but I think you're about to feel this. I remember plenty of John Cena contests where John had no other choice than to start returning the favors from some opposing WWE superstars. Cena likes to play by the rules, but if an opponent is going to take things in a rule-breaking direction, then you better believe John Cena will fight fire with fire to the point that the devil will cringe. Will it be? He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Oh, this isn't good. Looking at it here. I think this is it. And the fight must go on. 
You know, it's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in his tank. And here's some more trash talking. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Look out, Baron Corbin is measuring. he can take. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie, he's wild in there. And now he goes for it a second time. John Cena is going to have to improvise to get this turned around. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. Well, he's not looking as good as he was earlier, but that doesn't mean he's done. Well, all I can say, guys, is that his finisher seems pretty ineffective here tonight. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe, really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Here we go, John Cena setting it up. And will this be it? It may be. I don't believe it, the match is over. Check in the win column for John Cena. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it in there. Great match. No surprise there. That was exactly what we expected when the match was announced for SummerSlam. What an incredible effort all around. 